beautiful morning here. So today on this episode of What Plant Is That Paul, we're gonna go over our 38 varieties of dragon fruit. 30 are known, eight are unknown, and then I'm getting one called the Pride of Fallbrook. A really new variety this week. Gonna go meet the grower and get a cutting of that. So that would make 31 known varieties. So here we go. This is Maki Supa. This is a known variety, red flesh. That one I got at Home Depot last year, five bucks, unknown right now. And this one, Home Depot labeled it Hyloceres undantis, says pink flesh in parentheses, but I'm not so sure, I don't trust it. So that I'm gonna call unknown. But I do know this guy, this is G2 Thompson. A Thompson cutting, purple flesh variety. Got that at Spicy Exotics, that's a G2 Thompson. All right, up next is a little bit slow to get going, the Nicaraguan Red Dragon Fruit Variety. And this one has plenty of some new buds there, I just noticed. And so it has some new growth here. There we go, so Nicaraguan Red. And this is a new cutting, this is Maui Dragon. This is a white flesh fruit, it's gonna be excellent tasting. Maui Dragon, got that at Spicy Exotics. This is Natural Mystic Dragon Fruit, purple flesh. There's a natural mystic blowing through the air, I guess. All right, bad joke. But um, look, don't get excited with this stuff on your dragon fruit like I did. I damaged this plant because it was too young when I tied it up. So let them hang. Natural mystic purple flesh variety. All right, this is Vietnamese Hiana. This is, I believe, different from the giant white Vietnamese. So this one has a little bud there. And that one I got at a store nearby, a nursery, and it came from Monterey Bay Nursery. So it's a white flesh. <clears throat> Another white flesh variety, this is Soul Kitchen. All right, found this in Vista just the other day. Beautiful cutting. On the other side, <clears throat> this is El Guelo. And this is a red flesh variety, very resilient um, dragon fruit. Grows kind of in the region of Jalisco, Mexico. It's kind of got that different color. See it there? It's beautiful. Kind of more uh, Bismarck blue-green kind of gray, green-gray color. Um, and that waxy protected, protective layer. So this is a huge cutting. Wow. And um, it's a red flesh. Should do well. El Huelo. Up next, this is Cosmic Charlie. Hi, Cosmic Charlie. Um, got this at Spicy Exotics Nursery. It has Plenty of little epiphytics root, roots popping out, doing really well. On the other side, this one was uh, found on the Hana Highway. And this is Hana. So a white flesh variety of dragon fruit. Also got that one at Spicy Exotics. Okay, who are you? Let's, do, let's say hi to David Bowie. So this is David Bowie. And David Bowie is a purple, no, white flesh variety of dragon fruit. But really tasty from what I hear. On the other side, this one is the only one where you can do, are you ready? You can do this, and it doesn't hurt. That is sin espinas. So uh, without spines in Spanish, I believe. And sin espinas is a red flesh variety. And there is a tiny little nubby spine there, but it doesn't hurt. Sin espinas. And on this side, this is a red flesh variety. You can see often many of them have these spines like that. And this is Rosa. Rosa is a red flesh variety dragon fruit. Rosa. On the other side, hopefully you've seen our other episodes on this beast. This is Dark Star. Dark Star is a purple flesh variety. It grew three inches in a week uh, when I measured it, and it's doing really well. So there you go, Dark Star Dragon Fruit. Up next is the American Beauty, or I should say American Beauty, excuse me. And American Beauty had some damage early on. I thought it was slugs, but for sure it was Argentine ants. So I've been spraying neem oil and letting it heal. But our, uh, American Beauty's doing fine. This cutting here, look at that. Definitely doing well. So American Beauty. And on this side, we have our bloom. So this is Sugar Dragon, the Paul Thompson's S8 um, Sugar Dragon. And I bought it last week, believe it or not. And that thing was sitting in here. And it was only half full of soil. It still had a bloom. So also this is a great one to have in your collection. It's the universal pollinator from what um, some wonderful comments and from what I've been reading uh, about this plant is that uh, the sugar dragon is S8 Paul Thompson and um, his cutting 
a seedling and it, 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 it's a universal pollinator. So super cool. Excited to see that open up. <clears throat> Excuse the construction here. Still kind of in the project phase. All right, this is Bruni. Bruni is a white flesh variety of dragon fruit. Bruni, doing well. Spicy exotics, I got both of these. Um, this is Red Hiana. Red Hiana is a red flesh variety. See the spines? And from what I hear, great to eat. Okay. Going down, you've seen, if you're subscribed to our channel here, you've seen Edgar's baby. Let's do an update. There is Edgar's baby. Uh, and the one I accidentally knocked off. It's got some new growth there. Really long roots. And wow, this one was really not doing well early on this year when we acquired it. But I hear it's such a good tasting red flesh, I wanted to give it a shot. And look at that, it's got some new buds. So that's Edgar's baby. On the other side, Condor. Condor is a purple flesh, if I remember right. And man, it's slow to spread its wings. It's definitely got plenty of roots, but um, no new growth observed yet. And it's uh, August, so wow. All right, home stretch here. Some of the really cool ones, in my opinion. This is uh, Physical Graffiti, purple flesh dragon fruit variety. Um, it had some rot, so I cut it and plastic bagged, uh, bagged it for a week and this thing started growing, so it's all funky, but I'm sure it's gonna be fine. It was in the bag, so that's the problem there. But I see plenty more new growth on um, physical graffiti. On the other side, this is, pretty excited about this, giant yellow megalanthus pelora seedling. And look at the size of this cutting. I just got it last week at Walter Anderson Nursery. They only had two of them, and this one was giant, so I took it. Or bought it, I should say. All right, so there it is. That is also known as the Ecuador yellow. So these are unknown varieties. That's the one that I saved. This is the one I said how not to grow your dragon fruit. Um, funny episode, but it's doing great now under this uh, tangelo tree. And a few other cuttings from the neighborhood, re other residents. Um, uh, yellow skin variety, purple flesh. We'll see what happens with those. Let's go to known varieties. This is San Ignacio. That's a red flesh variety similar to El Guelo in the sense of that color and the waxy appearance. This is Purple Haze. I got a free tiny cutting there. It's crazy. I don't even know if I can count that. But let's see. I bet it's going to grow. I'll bet you anything. Um, well, I won't bet you anything. Connie Mayer. Uh, this is a white flesh variety. Got that from Spicy Exotics. Those two are uh, Haley's Comet. And actually, I found those at Home Depot. So look, Home Depot got better at naming its plants. Good job, Home Depot. Or it could have been Lowe's, I'm not sure. I hate to say. Alright. And Zamorano. This is a red flesh variety of dragon fruit. Zamorano. This one is Delight. I think it's a Paul Thompson cutting as well. Delight. Um, not the prettiest cutting, but you get what you can get, right? And this one I'm really excited about. This is, a, they call it the Golden Dragon or the Isri Israel Yellow Dragon Fruit. It's actually a crossbreed between a red flesh variety and the yellow skin. They did it in Israel. Supposedly really, really good tasting. So yellow skin, kind of whitish flesh. Israel. Uh, Israel. Israeli Yellow is what I'm going to call it. Or Ecuador, um, not Ecuador Yellow. Israeli Yellow or um, Golden Dragon. All right, and then this one is Armando. Armando is slow to grow from what I hear, but this is a pretty big uh, cutting. Should do fine. Red flesh variety. And look at that. So this is an unknown variety, but um, Steve at Spice Exotica Nursery says that this is a very rare type of dragon fruit. Uh, native to kind of uh, the desert region of Mexico. So if you know what this is, let us know. Um, there you are. There are some of our dragon fruit varieties so far that we've acquired this year. And give us a like and subscribe and let's see. We'll take you on the journey of dragon fruit and we'll see what happens next on What Plant Is That, Paul? All right, have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye. Dude, it's creepy.